हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप नाउ अंडर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल सीरीज लेट अस टेक अप वन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट मास्टर थ्योरम फ्रॉम अल्गोरिथम्स एंड दिस अबाउट मी माय सेल्फ श्रीधर धूलीपाला विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच ऑफ योर टाइम लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टूडे दट इज मास्टर थियरम my dear friends master theorem is the standard technique for solving a special type of recurrence relation known as divide and conquer recurrence relation so in the recurrence relation you will find two constants a and b where a should be greater than or equal to 1 and b should be greater than 1 and there is a function fn it should be asymptotically positive let tn be defined on non negative integers by the divide and conquer recurrence relation that is tn is equal to a into tn by b plus fn and here n by b may be floor of n by b or seal of n by b my dear friends but asymptotically the effect is negligible so we ignore the floor and seal values okay we simply take n by b only the asymptotic bounds of tn are given according to three cases so the divide and conquer recurrence relation bound or time complexity is based on the following three cases my dear friends so the divide and conquer recurrence relation together with the following three cases is what is known as master theorem so let us consider case 1 in case 1 this particular fn is big o of n power log a to the base b minus epsilon see the idea here is see this n power log a to the base b may be some suppose let us assume say 2 okay so it is like n square is a polynomial but even after subtracting some small value from this still this fellow is dominating fn or this fellow is asymptotic upper bound for fn if it happens then tn is big theta of n power log a to the base b that is this n power log a to the base b is the bound for this tn my dear friends asymptotic bound for tn also so that is the case one my dear friends let us see this with simple example see generally when you want to apply this master theorem it is a simple match or war between two functions one is n power log a to the base b versus fn and in this you can easily see a value is 4 and b value is 2 and remember a should be greater than or equal to 1 and b should be greater than 1 am i clear and fn should be positive function now if you substitute this n power log a means 4 to the base 2 versus fn what is fn n now if you simplify this it is n power log 4 means you can write it as 2 square to the base 2 now i am just simplifying this sir because right side i am don't have to do anything because it is simplified already left side, left hand side that is n power log a to the base b i am simplifying so what is it it is simply n square log 2 to the base 2 is 1 so that is done so what is the answer for this n square and this is n now please tell me which one is larger obviously n square dominates we clearly see that who is the winner n power log a to the base b is the winner so fn is obviously big o of n power log a to the base b not only this even from this power 2 if you subtract a small value also still it dominates still it only dominates therefore clearly fn is big o of n power log a to the base b minus epsilon therefore by case 1 of case 1 of master theorem what is the conclusion the case one of master theorem tn is big theta of n power log a to the base b which is already simplified n square so this is the first case of master theorem my dear friends now let us see the second case see this story is saying only based on the relation between n power log a to the base b and fn we get different time complexities nothing more than that now the case 2 in case 2 fn is big theta of n power log a to the base b 
here what we need to understand fn and n power log a to the base b are having same order of growth they are that is either n power log a to the base b is asymptotic tight bond for fn or fn is asymptotic tight bond for n power log a to the base b in this particular case if it happens then tn is simply theta n power log a to the base b log n actually you can write like this or you can happily write fn log n also there is nothing wrong because both are having equal order of growth n power log a to the base b is having same order of growth as fn in this particular case either you can write theta n power log a to the base b into log n or theta fn log n both are one and the same am i clear so let us see one simple example for this case tn is equal to 9 into tn by 3 plus n square here a is 9 and b is 3 my dear friends again the war between n power log a to the base b war or match whatever you call it fn so this is n power log 9 to the base 3 and here right hand side fn is n square when you simplify this it is n power 9 is nothing log n power log 9 is 3 square to the base 3 which is nothing but n square log 3 to the base 3 is 1 and here it is also n square so what does it mean fn and theta they are having they are same actually they are having same order of growth they are having same order of growth therefore by case 2 of master theorem what is the conclusion by case 2 of master theorem we conclude that tn is big theta of either you can write fn or you can write n power log a to the base b what is it n square n square into log n now let us see the third case rest of the story is same that is divide and conquer recurrence relation tn is equal to a into tn by b plus fn a must be greater than or equal to 1 b must be greater than 1 and fn must be positive asymptotically positive but here we can consider happily positive my dear friends now the case 3 is when fn is big omega of n power log a to the base b plus epsilon see actually big omega means what sir fn is the upper bound or n power log a to the base b is the lower bound asymptotic lower bound for fn not only this fellow even if you add something to it still it is a lower bound asymptotic lower bound for example if you get n square even if you add something to it still it is smaller than fn in this particular case but there is a small problem here not just this condition after this there is one more condition it has to be satisfied not just this condition after this if fn satisfies regularity condition what is the other condition after this condition that is fn is the upper bound or n power log a to the base b plus epsilon is asymptotic lower bound for fn after that if fn is satisfying this regularity condition then in that particular case fn is big theta of I mean tn is big theta of fn tn is big theta of fn see simple logic sir if n power log a to the base b dominates theta of n power log a to the base b if fn dominates theta of fn but if fn dominates even this regularity condition must be satisfied regularity condition must be satisfied and what is that regularity condition my dear friends the regularity condition is a times fn by b must be less than or equal to i'm sorry a times a times fn by b should be less than or equal to some constant times fn where c must be less than 1. So, if this condition is satisfied for sufficiently large values of n, then definitely we can take this as the third condition. Generally, we will not verify this particular condition because if fn is polynomial, this particular condition is obviously satisfied. Am I clear? Otherwise, we have to verify this particular condition, my dear friends. There are some problems for which this particular condition is not satisfied. I'll give you one simple example for that also. First, let me give you a simple example for the third case. 
where obviously regularity condition is satisfied. When obviously regularity condition is satisfied, sir, if Fn is polynomial, obviously the regularity condition is satisfied. You don't have to verify that, sir. Am I clear? Now, this is the example where A value is 4 and B value is also 4. Now, here what we need to consider n power log A to the base B. versus fn. So that is n power log 4 to the base 4. And what is fn sir? fn is n square. So this is n versus n square. Obviously, which one is larger? fn is larger. fn is winning. Which fellow is winning sir? fn is winning. So here fn is obviously big omega of n power log a to the base b. Not only that, even if you add power something also, it is n power 1, no? If you add some small constant to that, still fn dominates. And fn satisfy regularity condition. Why, sir? Because it's polynomial. Obviously, it satisfies. Therefore, by case 3 of master theorem what is the conclusion tn is big theta of fn what is fn fn is n square theta of n square okay so as i told you now let me give you a small example i'm not solving it sir just one small example there's a function fn this particular function does not satisfy regularity condition. See, under this learn with video lessons category, I given the complete video lectures on algorithms in that if you see this master theorem, I solved many problems, my dear friends. If you want to go through those videos, you can go through it. There I solve this problem also. You can find the solution of this problem also. Okay. So, under the Baiju's exam prep app, the category name is learn with video lessons where you can find all the subject videos which were recorded by me for algorithms, data structures, C programming, discrete mathematics, even engineering mathematics. So in that algorithms, solving recurrences, in that part, you can see master theorem. Not only one part, sir, I done it in three, four parts where I solved many examples. Even this example was solved in that. Am I clear? So this one good example where even though fn dominates, this particular condition is satisfied, but regularity condition is not satisfied. Therefore, we cannot apply master theorem for this. Am I clear? There are many problems for which master theorem is not applicable, my dear friends. Some people blindly apply for every problem master theorem. Please note it. The master theorem is applicable under certain conditions. So, let me quickly uh, recap that particular conditions, my dear friends. Oh. Just one minute. So, this is the recurrence relation Tn is equal to A into Tn by B plus fn. The case one, what is the case one? If fn is big O of n power log a to the base b, not only this, even after adding some small positive constant, till this n power log a to the base b dominates fn. In this particular case, tn is big theta of n power log a to the base b, my dear friends. What about case 2? The case 2 is, if fn is big theta of n power log a to the base b, that is fn and n power log a to the base b are having same order of growth. In this particular case, you can say tn is theta of, either you can write n power log a to the base b or fn, sir. fn into log n. And the case 3 you have to be careful. Here, obviously, fn is dominating or 
n power log a to the base b is the asymptotic lower bound not only this even from this if you subtract something still it is asymptotic lower bound for fn and fn satisfy regularity condition fn satisfy regularity condition in this particular case tn will be big theta of fn See, in a general sense, if you want to say, if n power log a to the base b dominates, then Tn is big theta of n power log a to the base b. If Fn dominates and of course satisfies regularity condition, then F Tn is big theta of Fn. If both are of same order of growth, then Tn is theta of either you can write n power log a to the base b or Fn into log n. That has to be multiplied with log n. Of course, there are so many other cases which we can discuss more detailed when you take regular classes, my dear friends. Okay, this is about the concept master theorem, my dear friends. Thank you.